With such a large Polish population in Chicago, it's no wonder that so many of you guys jumped onto Facebook and told us we needed to get to Ukrainian village, to Kasia's Deli, for some traditional Polish comfort food. All right, Chris, if you're a Pole from Chicago, or even if you're just a regular Chicagoan, you know Kasia. However, like any good comfort food story, Hello. it starts with a mother. We've been in business since 1982. Initially, we started off as a local Ukrainian village deli. And then slowly, as our products became more and more popular, we decided to expand into wholesale. For your sake, young man, the recipe that your mother created hasn't changed too much. It hasn't. We always try to make sure the end result is just like you would make it at home. For those three people in the entire Illinois, Chicago, worldwide area who've never heard of a pierogi, how would you best describe what a pierogi actually is? Dumpling filled with different fillings. Pasta with a filling. Polish ravioli. Jewish crepe flag. Every ethnicity has their own version. Ravioli, empanadas, this is the Polish version. You mentioned that you guys have a facility now. Can you and I make some here? today, is that possible? Well, of course. Today we're gonna make the most popular variety, potato and cheese. Before we get him back and get to pierogiing, why are you guys here at Kasha Chicago's Best? Everything that we make, we wanna make sure that the taste is like you would make it at home. Let's put my stomach to the test, or let my stomach put you guys to the test. This is the first pierogi I've ever made, by the way. Terrific, all right, I'm gonna show you how it's made. First, we start off with the dough. Let's try to roll it. This looks like when I try to make pizza at home. I guarantee I'm not the only person whose pizza base looks like this when they try and make it at home. Cut out the circles. I was always told by my mom, waste not, want not. But every mom watching right now, they're like, Elia, get closer to the edge, don't waste any of that dough. All the comfort food mothers out there. Thank you very much. So now we have the filling. Put it inside, and then we're gonna start crimping. I made my first pierogi. I think it's actually nicer than mine. It needs to be archived for prosperity's sake. Huh? Did I say prosperity? Yeah. I mean, I meant posterity. Posterity. Post I meant posterity. Posterity. I meant posterity. I. It doesn't matter what I mean. Before I embarrass myself any further, let's finish up and head out to chat with the customers. I'm Ukrainian, and it brings back memories of the way my mother used to make them. Being Jewish, my mom and my grandmother used to make pierogies. I'm half Polish. Which half of you is Polish? My dad. Yep. I was thinking more like a mermaid, whether it's like the bum half or the top half is Polish. I don't know how these things work. Finally getting to sit down and eat the pierogies. This is traditional Polish comfort food. Cheers. The casing of the dough, but then the packaging inside, creamy, creamy mashed potatoes. Like you said, it, it gives you that, that comfort. What we hear from our customers, you know, when they eat pierogi, it reminds them of what their mother or grandmother used to make for them when they were growing up. It's times like these that I truly wish my grandmother was Polish. Did we do your mother proud today? Yes, you did. Thank you. That makes me happy as much as my stomach makes me happy too.